Capone Tone here, and welcome to part 8 of my Mega Man X2 playthrough. Last time we took out Crystal Snail, and this time we are taking out Magna Centipede. We are nearing the end, folks. Just two more robots to take out, and we are good. But this level is awesome. I love the music in this level. It's probably my favorite theme in the whole game. But you gotta avoid these yellow lights or else these machine things will come down, as you can see, and they will shoot you. Ah, damn it. Right, keep going forward right here, but go back right now. You need to make this jump up here. It's a pain in the ass. You have to do it just right. And it took me a lot of time, so I just cut it out. <laughs> but yeah, eventually you can jump up here, the wall jump, and get that heart piece. It's freaking hard to do, though. Just keep trying, though. Anyway, let's continue. These blocks keep falling down. Just wait for them to do their pattern. And if there are any near you, you should jump out of the way to avoid getting squashed. Whoa! As you can see. Alright, this part... Okay, we're gonna wait for these blocks to go down first. But here, I'm gonna show you how to get another upgrade. You just switch to the fire. Jump, fire, okay, now switch to the chain. And you can grab that wall and wall jump. And that is the energy tank, our last one in the game. That jump will take a couple times to you gotta practice. Now we're fighting the sword. It's not really too difficult. It can be kind of annoying though. Just keep shooting the blue part. It's kind of weird you gotta shoot the handle to kill the sword and not the green part. But whatever. And it's dead. Continue on. Oh, they're sweet. Got it full health. I switched over to the fire speed burner just so I could speed through this part. You know I'm doing a pretty lousy job at it. Because <laughs> um, you want to get to this door at the very end. And there you go. If you don't get there in time, you can't get in. We're also going to take out the last X Hunter, Surges, and we fight him in here. So we get our last zero part. He's not very difficult, um, you just have to learn his pattern. And I beat him just using the Mega Buster. You should um, switch to the Sonic Slicer, I believe. He's weak against that. Would have made this battle a lot easier, but I don't know. I just felt like using the Mega Buster. And his once you learn his pattern, he's not really difficult. Get one shot in and jump underneath him. And just keep doing that over and over. Eventually he'll switch it, switch it up and jump three times in a row. But as you can see, just one shot, jump left, one shot, jump right. It's pretty predictable right now. You can see he switched it up right here, jump three times instead. Kind of throws your timing off. And to, get, to, um, to take out those bombs, you just shoot them. I think you have to be charged up, I believe. Just slightly charged up. I'm gonna continue with this same pattern. We'll jump three times, sometimes. Actually, I think he's doing it for the rest of the battle. Seems like it. And even if you are getting hit, I mean, you see me getting hit a lot right now. It doesn't really do that much damage to you. Whether you run into him or get hit by that green shit. more charge shots and he'll be done. I'm trying to get him when, he's, when I'm fully charged though. He'll be the most damage. And he's dead. I did not delay the inevitable. Y'all are fucked. We got the last zero part. Zero part number one. Getting these zero parts, it just makes the final stage a lot easier, and you'll see down the road 
on our last part. Now we gotta face this dude. He's not too hard. Um, use the speed burner. I think it does the most damage against him. He just sh shoots a few of those fireballs, then he does that over and over. If you were to... Um, I don't know. The last... When I uh, went to that door to get the surges, if you uh, got the crosshairs on you, he would have got more power-ups. Well, you didn't even see that, so... If you played through this level, you'll know what I mean. Yeah, I'm trying to be careful here. Speed... Dash jump, dash jump. Now we're at the boss, Magnus Centipede. He's actually pretty easy. He has this uh, annoying thing though where he takes your abilities, as you'll see, but despite that, he's still pretty easy. I'm just gonna use the um, charge shot on him. You get a double charge shot on does a good amount of damage. This is really easy to dodge. Once he, it freezes, just jump the opposite way those little things are, pieces of his tail. Whoops. Cannot get hit anymore. <laughs> and he'll sometimes do that. Just try and take your ability, just keep spamming the buttons to break free. And, but that is easy to dodge, as you can see. He's almost dead. And he is dead. Simple enough. Dude was owned by Mega Man X. Now we just have one robot to go. Hell yeah. Da -na 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 -na. Now we take that dude's ability. And we're gonna have a short scene with Dr. Kane. He's gonna tell us that we have all of Zero's parts, so we can try to make it so he's on our side. Stall him. That'll help us against the X Hunters. But that's gonna complete part 8 of my Mega Man X2 playthrough.